Hey guys, um, just finished watching the season final of uh, Arrow, season two, final episode, I think 23, 22, 23, it'll, it'll be up there in the title, uh, yeah, until, so, so, so title, I forget, <coughs> title of the episode, um, off the bat I want to say, you know, that I, the, the Arrow, the, the Flash trailer, which was, I was really excited for, um, and didn't get to see it on TV, so, but luckily I follow Flash himself, Grant Gustin, and I was able to see the trailer. So the trailer was pretty cool. I loved it. was pretty interesting that they had actually had Arrow in it. Um, you know, I wonder to see if they, you know, are they going to have them, hopefully, the first episode and the first, maybe somehow they'll do, uh, you know, the first episode of both would kind of be like in a joining the both episodes or not repeating the same episode twice, but be, you know, instead of doing for the first one, do like a Wednesday night two-hour episode where it's a two-hour full-on, you know, here's the finishing up of the Arrow story, you know, of, of closing up after season one, and then do, like, at the end, there's, like, a new story in it that kind of introduces into, um, you know, the the Flash, you know, side of the story, um, you know, that would definitely be interesting to, to see, you know, how, hopefully, maybe, I think it would be interesting to see, though, how far this goes, and maybe if they'll just do one show out of the two, um, which I think would definitely be a di interesting idea. Probably we'll see on, we'll see how that goes. But the, and it would definitely be interesting to see what comes out of it and his costume and everything, which looks perfect. I love the whole, you know, like catching the arrows and stuff like that. That was so perfect. It was so cool. Um, it was so awesome, so awesome, and so flash. You know, and it was just so perfect, you know, something like that. Uh, you know. I think what would be interesting, what would, would have been interesting, one thing I would have changed with the trailer, instead of him just catching it, it's just, in that in that amount of time, he could easily just catch it, and then uh, just go and empty his arrows, and be like, and when he goes to get another one, he just be like, catch it, and then he'd be like, you see him, oh yeah, and he goes like, no arrows, I think that would have been interesting, you know, him out of arrows, or he's just like, and he's just like, you know, and it, it, you just see him go by and just, the arrow just disappears. You just see him standing there and he's like, where's the arrow? He's like, I put it back already. And he just ran by, you know, put it back in his quiver. That would be one little thing, but that's just me. Um, so I, I like the trailer. The trailer was perfect. Uh, so the episode, hmm, the whole fact, I mean, I know that, you know, this, the fact that they kept Slade, Slade Wilson alive at the end was pretty, that's pretty interesting, you know, the fact that he's on the island is, you know, interesting. Um, definitely can't wait to see, though. I mean, you know, will he get? Will he get out? You know, now they're they're gonna start using the the island as a as a base. You know, I, I could see that. You know, they're gonna start using the island now as like a um, a place like a phantom zone equivalent. You know, where a place where he can just throw all of his his enemies and stuff and have them uh, just <sighs> excuse me, have them just all there. You know, like as a giant giant jail, you know, and stuff like that, and then maybe after a few seasons of collecting bad guys there, you know, have, uh, have it, like, season five or something like that, have, like, a big one, or maybe in the final season of the, of, you know, the full, like, hopefully they'll make that to ten or something like that, you know, have it so that they, they go through and, you know, there's an army that comes off the island, so I could see something like that happening based off of what they're doing. Um, you know, or maybe eventually they'll just do something like, I don't know. But that's just way too far to even try and predict. Um, so it definitely was interesting, the fact that I kept him alive and glad that he, at least he had, doesn't have the serum in there. And I was hoping that, that, you know, he would, you know, that Rory would keep the serum and somehow they'd figure it out to keep him the, the powers. But I guess it makes sense, more accurate to the comic books and not have him with super strength. Um, yeah, and the whole the Roy and, um... And Thea Queen, that was interesting, you know. Didn't think that she'd leave him. I thought that she would join them or something like that when she saw found the arrows. Um, you know, the fact that she's going with her 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 father and stuff like that is just Malcolm there. Malcolm Merlin is just I never saw that. And when she shot him she shot him in the other episode. <sighs> I never thought that she'd do it, you know, and stuff like that and but we'll see. You know, I don't know if she's she gonna turn into a villain or or whatnot. I, I mean, I'm thinking that maybe there's a possibility of that, or we'll see. Definitely can't wait to see what to how Oliver um, reacts to uh, to it all. You know, there's so much. Uh, I mean, I feel like there's 
and there there's a lot you know like cliffhangers for the thing but it's not as big as cliffhangers as i remember like small girl would being or at least last time it was like the earth like the the entire um you know the entire like, like the city was crumbling you know and stuff like that the ceiling was the city was falling apart <clears throat> you know it was literally caving in on itself you know and there that, like there's that cliffhanger here the cliffhanger is, is lance you know Officer Lance, the detective Lance, uh, surviving, you know, and with her, his, you know, she, her, like, feet away, she didn't even yell, oh, I want Sarah, Sarah, you know what I mean? Like, don't leave, your father's about to die, you know what I mean? Just wait, you know, a day or two, and your father's about to die, you know? But that's just, that's just me, you know? Um, what else? I think that's basically it. Uh, the whole Diggle story there, him actually having a child there is definitely interesting to see. Um, you know, I wish I, that would definitely can't wait to see, you know, who does this child turn out to be, or, uh, I mean, so far, if they don't jump a few years, I guess it'd be interesting to see, you know, maybe later on, they do bring, uh, see if that turns into someone, I doubt that it would be until unless you wait, like, the 10 years, you know, um, maybe then he'll be, like, nine, nine, eight, nine years old, <sighs> Excuse me. Um. So yeah, I definitely like the episode. I give the episode a, a good nine out of ten because it was it was good, but it was not a, like it was not a no big cliffhanger and making me want to come back for the next for the for for next week. Um. I mean, other than the the the, the flash trailer, which I didn't see during you know up here in Canada, I didn't see uh on, during the show. I had to watch it online. Um. But that flash trailer did really pro pumped me for for the flash show and the arrow and more of the arrow show and the whole connecting of the two um definitely pumped me for all that so definitely can't wait to see what else we get out of it and uh yeah we'll see see you back in september peace out